Oops. Today we're testing out the Jack Appear Pro model battery. This is the second version and it's quite a bit different. Now before we get started, Jack Appear's customer service, I've seen a lot of complaints on the forum. If you're trying to get their communication system to work with your inverter, even though they advertise that it should work, you're either gonna have a tough time setting it up or it's gonna be pretty much impossible. And you can see those posts for yourself on the forum if you wanna see how Jack Appear responds to customer complaints. Now if you're not using communication, I've never had any problems with Jack Appear batteries. And this new model is quite a bit different. It actually looks like an SOK battery. So let's put one of those on the table and do a quick comparison. So the only difference that I can see is this power button. Everything else is the same. They're also using the same exact DC rated circuit breaker, the same terminals, even the communication ports are the same. And look at the BMS startup screen. Like these are practically the same batteries when it comes to the BMS. These cases are the same as well. And that makes me pretty sad because I like the SOK because I thought it was special. But yeah, this is the same thing and I think this one is actually cheaper. So let's open it up and see if it's the same case on the inside. First difference is there's no fiberboard on the Jack Appear cover, but the SOK does have fiberboard. So they're actually a little different, but they have some major similarities. So first off, both of these batteries are user serviceable. Previously, it was only the SOK. Next, they're using the same exact bus bars and screw terminals. And I think these are the same cells. CBA091. 0000D. CBA 0910000D. So these are using the same cells. Also, you'll notice that the first cell is over here and the 16th cell is over here. But on the Jack Appear, the first cell is over here and the 16th cell is over here. And this configuration is actually better than the SOK because look at these main supply conductors. They are very short to reach the BMS and the circuit breaker. On the SOK, they run along the side of the case and they're touching each other so I actually like Jack Appear's design better in that regard. Next the Jack Appear's temperature sensors are glued and taped to the cells but on the SOK they have a potted ring terminal and this is better I like this configuration. Even the wires that connect to the cells have the exact same ferrules and they have the same bus bars and the same lugs like everything is the same. Now the largest difference is these cell holders. This is just a bar that goes over the cells and they have foam on both sides. On the SOK, they have these individual packs that hold eight cells. Also, Jack Appear's balance lead is more protected than the SOK. On the SOK, it's not protected and more exposed, and it's only zip tied down to these cell holders. So this makes me kind of sad. I thought the SOK would be the only user serviceable uh, server rack battery on the market, but man, this is the same build quality as an SOK, but it's a bit cheaper. But the customer service with Jack Appear is awful. If you buy one through Current Connected, they will help you solve any issue, and they're also gonna have documentation for their communication protocol. They do not have that on the Jack Appear battery. Also, I emailed everyone this morning and they only have 360 of these Jack Appear batteries. In the SOK, they're going to make thousands and thousands of them. So these will probably run out of stock and then people will just simply buy these instead. Now I wonder, people complained about the older Jack Appear and the communication system, but because this is so much like the SOK, maybe they took the communication protocol and put it into this new model. So all they'd have to really get down is the proper cable type to use with each inverter. Now it's crazy that this balance cable is not protected. I hope SOK, whoever's manufacturing it, they tell them to do what they're doing over here because it's better. Oh wow. The BMS has the same serial number and every component is the same. Now if you compare both of these to the original Jack Appear battery, this is very surprising. The original had totally different cells, a totally different case, and overall a completely different battery, but it's like they just copied the SOK and then made it a little bit different. Now something I like about the Jack Appear is the on and off button on the front. That allows you to turn the BMS on and off, and it makes it very easy to use the pre-charge resistor circuit for when you're building a system you have to charge up the capacitors in your inverter and this button makes it very easy and the SOK does not have that so you're gonna have to use the reset button just like all the other server rack batteries on the market now let's talk about which one you should buy um, if it were me 
Um, this one is cheaper, so I would buy this until it was out of stock. But if you need communication, you need customer service and support, a good warranty, I would go with the SOK. But I really wish SOK could protect their balance cable like Jack Appear did. This looks better. This is more professional and the balance cables are protected with this cover and not with the SOK. But if something goes wrong with the SOK, I know you'll be taken care of very quickly. I suggest everyone look at Jack Appear's customer service responses on my forum. They are absolutely awful. So that is very telling of the support you're going to get in the future from Jack up here. But now the market has two user serviceable designs and I was not expecting that at all. I thought SOK would be the only ones to do that. Also, I got a rack from Jack up here and the rack is the same rack that SOK sells, but Jack up here sells theirs for $50 more. So anyways, I hope you liked the video. There's not a whole lot for me to say when we find a clone. I was not expecting a clone in the server rack space at all. Um, typically with the smaller batteries, we find clones all the time, but this is the first one that we've seen so far of a server rack. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.